Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Are you guys ready? Let's do this shit. What's up, peeps? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. And guess what? We are back here again with another action figure review. This time, we got Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage! From McFarlane Mortal Kombat, man. You guys ready to do this? I am ready to freaking do this. And why is it every time I do a freaking action figure review, I never have my damn knife laying around. Alright guys, I'm going to quit wasting time. I am anxious to get into this box right here. So we are going to go ahead and cut this open. We are going to operate. We are going to do some surgery. And cut this freaking box open if I can without slicing my hand open. But then again, you guys wanted blood. This is a Mortal Kombat review, so... I am going to give you blood. Not really. I'm not that dedicated. <laughs> Watch me slice my finger open like a dumbass. Slice and blood's coming out. Best Mortal Kombat reviewer ever. Um, <laughs> so, let's take him out of the box. As you guys can see off to the side right here, we have the other Mortal Kombat figures, which I reviewed. My last Mortal Kombat figure of Raiden. If you guys didn't see that review, check it out. But I'm pretty excited to have this... Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. Hollywood hunk. <laughs> There's the side photo of Johnny Cage. 22 points. Uh, 22 moving parts. I should say he comes with a little, appears to be an Oscar. Maybe strongman competition. I have no idea. Martial artist maybe. And he comes with his own action figure. <laughs> that is hilarious. I was wondering what the fuck this was. The little small version of Johnny Cage. And he's holding a small version of his action figure, guys. How fucking awesome is that? An action figure that has his own action figure. That is freaking hilarious. Alright, guys. Let's take out Johnny Cage. Because I'm, I'm really anxious to review Mr. Cage. Mr. Johnny Cage. Alright, let's pop him out. He comes with sunglasses, his own action figure, and a trophy slash award. Dude, he's going to be a pain in the ass to get out of here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Dude. What the fuck? Okay. Let's put that off to the side for now. Let's take a look at this Johnny Cage. And he looks freaking awesome, man. This jacket looks dope as hell, dude. There's JC. As in Jesus Christ. No, it's Johnny Cage. <laughs> dude, look at this face sculpt. Wait a minute. Why does Johnny Cage look so dorky? And wait a minute, look at his hair. Why is his hair so far apart from his face? Do I have a defective Johnny Cage? Man. His face looks looks hilarious, dude. Um, he just looks really, really funny. I don't I don't know. He looks familiar, like I've seen this guy before somewhere. Open up his jacket and he's got a tattoo of his name, Johnny, right across his chest. How douchebaggery is that shit? <laughs> and of course, one thing that sucks, I already see one thing that I already dislike other than the hair parting from his face is you can't remove his jacket because his jacket arms are sculpted on there. So if you remove his jacket, you're going to have blue arms and you got blue ball joints right here. Um, which that sucks, so you can't remove it from, remove his jacket, 
you have to leave it on so you can't have a bare chested Johnny Cage. That sucks. Who knows? They might, known McFarlane, they might come out with an alternative version of that shit. So, but I, overall, I like the jacket. I like the jacket. Uh, a little bit of a messy paint, paint app right here. Some white went onto his silver zipper, but that's no big deal. I can always touch that up with some more silver. The tattoo looks nice. Abdomen looks okay. Body sculpt looks okay. The face, I'm not really digging the face, but his eyes look, he, he looks so, so dumb. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. He looks stupid. Um, jacket overall looks nice. He has a very nice, shiny, metallic jacket. Kind of like the jackets we used to have back in the day in the 90s. I don't know if you guys remember that, the metallic uh, jacket. The sports jacket is what we used to call it. On the back, it has kind of, I guess, Johnny Cage's logo. Somebody in the shadow wearing the glasses and the bandana. Um, the paint apps, the blue, mm, it's not really that great. You can see some of the metallic blue seeping through the light blue right there of the logo. The hands, he's got the bandaged hands and wrists for his fighting. A little bit of pink on there, maybe possibly dry blood on there. Cage, I like, I like the belt cage. Johnny tattoo on his chest, and then you come down to his belt cage. Cool knee pads and cool sneaks. Are these the new uh, LeBrons? <laughs> Dude, I love those shoes, man. I gotta get me a pair of these shoes. Okay, guys, so let's check out the articulation, then we'll check out his accessories, and then we'll do some comparisons with the other Mortal Kombat figures that you see behind. All right, so as articulation, basic uh, Mortal Kombat articulation, as you guys have been watching my reviews, pretty uh, simplistic. He can do the splits, as he should be able to do. Johnny Cage, not all the way, but nonetheless, pretty good. Um, legs can kick out that much. <laughs> I can see him on the bed chilling with some bitches. One bitch on one side, the other bitch on the other side, saying, yeah, let's get this on. That's who he reminds me of. He, he has a face of a porn star. <laughs> um, specifically, I don't want to go into detail of who, but you, you guys make your own uh, suggestion of who, what porn star he looks like. Arms can bend out that much. Arms can rotate. They He can go up like this. Johnny Cage wins. The pants look good overall. Double jointed knees. Legs. Yeah! He kind of looks like uh, somebody from the 90s. Like in your double mint spearmint commercial. Double the pleasure! Yeah! And they freeze, freeze frame him while he's up in the air. Yeah! Double mint gum. I st I wish I knew how that commercial uh, went. Double your, double your pleasure, double your fun. Da, 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 double mint gum. <laughs> I want to get copywritten by by that gum commercial. I think it was. I'm not even gonna mention the name. Okay, guys. So let's do some measurements and let's check out his accessories. So let's try to stand Johnny Cage. A lot with a lot of these uh, Mortal Kombat figures, they have a hard time standing up. That's why uh, McFarlane gives us the base for these figures. But let's measure him while he's standing, and he's proving me wrong and making me look like a jackass. So Johnny Cage stands at about seven and one fourth. So that's between seven inches and seven and a half inches. Put Johnny Cage back here. Let's break out his accessories. Uh, first off, I want to break out his sunglasses because I want to put these purple sunglasses on this face to cover up this horrible face. I'm surprised they didn't sculpt the sunglasses onto him. So... <laughs> Damn, they look fucking stupid. Well, it looks better than... Yeah, okay. I'm surprised, like I said, I'm surprised they didn't sculpt these glasses onto his, uh, his face. And... They can't really wrap around his ears. Yeah, at least make the ears go out to where the sunglasses 
part can wrap around his ears and the sunglasses can stay on his face. But that's how he looks, man. I definitely like him better with the sunglasses. So let's break out Johnny Cage's action figure because I definitely want to check out this thing. So Johnny Cage action figure is just a pre-posed action figure. What kind of action figure is that? How can Johnny Cage review this action figure? It's not an action figure. It's a statue. <laughs> but that's a, a nice touch. It's, I think that's the first time I've seen that. Uh, an action figure that comes with his own action figure, guys. <laughs> that is pretty cool, man. <laughs> Dude. That's pretty cool. I have to admit, that's pretty cool. I, I like that touch. And then he comes with his Oscar. Oh, yeah. It says it right here. Let's pop this out. Hopefully it doesn't break. Whoa. Okay, so it says, well, I'll give you a look at the Oscar. It says... Excellence Award Best Actor. Uh, I don't know what, uh, what award show this is. Um, I, I didn't know Johnny Cage was that great of an actor that he's actually winning an award for his acting. I don't think any any of our, like, uh, our action heroes growing up has never won an Oscar, guys. Um... I think Stallone is probably the only guy who's ever won an Oscar, and I think he won it for Rocky, right? But it wasn't for acting. I think it was for, like, Best Picture, because I think he directed that. Um, I think, well, Harrison Ford, I think he won an Oscar. Uh, Schwarzenegger, uh, who else? Uh, Van Damme, Seagal, uh, has never won uh, an award. But, yeah, I think, I think Stallone has won an Academy Award for Rocky. Um, and I think, uh, Harrison Ford, I'm pretty sure Harrison Ford is an Academy Award winner. If he's not, then that's a damn shame. Uh, articulation, I forgot to mention the waist swivel here. He has a ball joint at his, uh, break right here. He could swivel. Let's get him in some kicks. Yeah. Ooh, I like the overall look to this Johnny Cage, man. He looks really awesome, man. Um, let's get him holding his award. Hopefully he won't damage the award none of this paint will come off so let's have him holding the award <laughs> dude dude this this action figure is fucking awesome man <laughs> i love i love the way he looks man you put the purple glasses on him and he, he and it just changes the entire figure man he kind of has that blank dead dead uh stare like uh, Weekend at Bernie's. You, you, if you guys ever seen Weekend at Bernie's, I'm sure you guys have. Where Bernie is dead and he just has this like dead stare, this dead smirk on his face. That's kind of the, the look that Johnny Cage has. Here's Johnny Cage uh, holding his action figure. He's going to probably have to hold it from the leg area. So let's try to pop this in here without breaking it. <laughs> there is Johnny Cage holding his action figure and holding his award, guys. This is fucking awesome, man. Okay, so let's do some comparisons of him and Scorpion. So Johnny Cage is taller than Scorpion. Here is Johnny Cage next to Sub-Zero, and Johnny Cage is taller than Sub-Zero. Here is, well, here's the Iceman Sub-Zero. Pretty much the same thing, same character as that uh, Sub-Zero. If you guys want to see that. And then Raiden next to Johnny Cage. And Johnny Cage, <laughs> look, Raiden's like, I got Fire Lightning. Johnny Cage is like, I got an action figure and a award. I got a, an award and an action figure of myself. Beat that, Raiden. So, uh, height-wise, Johnny Cage is actually the tallest of them all. Odd, guys. That's really, really odd. you think Raiden would 
be maybe taller than Johnny Cage or even Sub-Zero or Scorpion, they probably would be the same height. But no, Johnny Cage is actually taller than Raiden, guys. Odd. I never thought of Johnny Cage as a tall guy. <laughs> I really love this uh, this uh, action figure, man. And he comes with an award for the excellence in acting in his own action figure, guys. Come on, how can you not love that shit? And he's got some cool sneaks. He's got the shades. He's got a tattoo of Johnny on his chest. A belt with his last name, Cage, on there. This just says douchebaggery, man. Johnny Cage, This should he should have the award Douchebag of the Year. <laughs> I love this. I love this figure, man. Let me give you my rating. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, guys, I am going to be very generous I love the overall gimmick. Uh, the overall look of Johnny Cage, not really, the face sculpt, not really great, but he put sunglasses on him, especially purple sunglasses on him, and it just takes him up to a whole nother notch. I'm going to kind of let the paint apps slide, the splotch, and then the hair away from the face. It doesn't bother me that much because you're not going to really see it when you put them on the shelf with other Mortal Kombat figures, so it's not it's not a big deal to me. Like I said, I'm not a picky toy reviewer. Um, overall, great figure. Great gimmick. Great ideas for this Johnny Cage. They did an amazing job, guys. I'm going to be very generous, guys, and I'm going to give this Johnny Cage a solid 8. I think he's pretty awesome, man. I really think he's pretty awesome. Um, if you guys are collecting this Mortal Kombat lineup, then you know what to do. Pick them up. If you guys are not collecting this Mortal Kombat lineup, you definitely should pick up this Mortal Kombat lineup, man. They, they, McFarlane has been killing it, man, with these figures, uh, Mortal Kombat figures. And he killed it with the Raiden. He killed it with Sub-Zero Scorpion. I'm, I'm pleased with all the figures that have been coming out. And this Johnny Cage just kind of took it up to a whole nother level, guys. I really like this Johnny Cage. I definitely recommend this Johnny Cage, guys. There's nothing more I can say other than pick him up. All right, guys. If you liked this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, epic reviews like this. And I do mean this was epic. Or if you want to receive more douchebaggery reviews like this. Hit the subscribe button because this guy is fucking awesome. All right, man. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next review. Bye.